Hello. Um, what are my thoughts on Brexit? Nobody's asked me, so I'll out tell nobody what I think about my thoughts on Brexit. I'm very tired at the moment. Got up today the earliest I've had to get up in weeks. And look at the, I don't know, do I look tired? Do I? Do I? I feel tired. So it don't matter how I look. Right, on to Brexit. First of all, in order to make any sense of this for ourselves subjectively, we have to have a perspective, you know, a point of view from which we can look out and make sense of what's going on. OK, so and that, that, that perspective will be defined by a motive. So for me personally, right, I want to maximise how much time I can spend doing what I want when I want, when I want right? And the things that impinge upon that are the time I spend at work and also the cost of living because that determines how much time I have to spend at work. So when looking at all these issues like the tariffs and no deal Brexit that might happen and all that kind of stuff, I need to relate it back to how much time will it add or take away from the amount of time I can spend doing what the fuck I want. Simple, right? Simple. Now then, some people may talk about how, oh, England's for the English and, and I'm British and all this bullshit. It's fucking shit, mate. Because this country, look at it, right, look at it, it stays the same no matter what political kind of extreme framework you put around it. And it, <laughs> and it don't give a fuck. Look at the ground, the ground. Look, ground, right, ground. Um, do you care if you're English? No response. It obviously don't give a fuck. So, um, and do I care? No, I don't give a fuck either. What I care about is how much time I can spend doing what the fuck I want. So, now then let's look at this in terms of tariffs, right? Because a no deal Brexit, I assume, will um, be, will manifest itself as uh, the EU putting tariff charges on imports and exports between the UK and the EU. And so we will relate to the EU like we relate to any other country. And the tariff charge will be an increased cost, right? And within the current capitalist system, um, the private companies are not going to take the tariff charges as a hit to their profit margins because they're greedy little fuckers. What they will do instead is they will increase the cost of the products they sell and decrease the amount of wages they give. That's what they do. That's why Trump's talking bullshit when he talks about tariff charges against China. It's just going to hit the majority hard, not the elites that are in control of the private enterprises and the big stockholders and shareholders. OK, and then this is, this is pretty simple, given how we know the system works, right? So why are people like Theresa May openly talking about no deal and stuff like that? Well, Theresa May is doing it because she's playing the personality politics game. She's trying, bless her little heart, like bless, bless her little kaji socks, um, to appear strong. You know, no deal Brexit, I'm the hard, what's her name, Maggie Thatcher, reincarnation, come in to save the nation and get a no deal Brexit. It's like really... Really fucking tough talk, isn't it? I mean, it wouldn't be good for me or you. I mean, you may be a big shareholder, so it might be good, okay? So we don't want a no deal. We want a tariff-free export-import between us and the EU, okay? That's one of the big issues. Another thing is, so am I pro or against um, Brexit? It depends on what happens, okay? So the EU, um, is an austerity pushing organization. This is why Greece left the EU. Um, so if we could get a, social, a proper socialist government in that will increase state expenditure on things like infrastructure, education, NHS, all this kind of stuff, and push the, 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 the policies forward, which um, made England great after World War II, and it was socialist policies, I'm sorry, you, you capitalist little rag pigs. It was socialist policies. Um, if, um, if we could get them in, then it could be great because the EU would act as a kind of stop or a kind of buffer 
um, for the capitalist central zone against socialist policies. Um, but on the other hand, if we cannot get a socialist government in and we maintain a conservative pro-capitalist party that, that are pro-austerity, then it will be worse for us because the EU has done a lot of good for us working class people in defending us against the capitalist fuck pigs. Um, so, like, like say, we, a lot of the, the, the workers' rights, like the, the minimum hours to work a week, uh, minimum wage and all that kind of stuff is being pushed by the EU. So if we get a Tory government in, a pro-capitalist party in, then we're fucked. But if we get a socialist party in, it could be bloody awesome. We, we, we could really get some, some, some heaven going on or a movement towards that. Anyway, goodbye.